There's a lot of service in the upper echelon that might not always cross your mind. And one of the ones that I first think of is none other than the Clayman in Kidu. And of course, we'll be using the Feast of Kingu since it's still his body. Starting off with his origin, we know that he went head to head with the servant Gilgamesh in their original myth. Gil, of course, being one of the highest out of all the servants, with him tying in power, they have to be neck and neck. We also know the fact that he helped defeat the divine bull of heaven this was further explored by merlin the bull itself being able to destroy the entire world he's shown the ability to make energy swords crossing blades with caster gill in his human form having great technique in his fighting he was able to deflect an entire bolt of lightning from gill out the sky just by using his chains for defense he has the power to make his skin as sharp as blades being able to pierce ushi wakamaro in the side after her cast he pushed the great Ketz back on foot. This is crazy because as we know, Ketz was the same person who was able to carry and toss the axe of Marta, which is said to be the equivalent of an entire city. For a short amount of time, we see him match Ketz in terms of strength in a fist-to-fist -fist clash. With little to no effort, we saw him break the chains that was holding down Gorgon. He was outmaneuvering the demi-servant Mash, despite the fact that she's combined with Galahad and he's one of the best warriors of the round table and one of the best warriors period he tanked being wrestled a great distance into the ground from mid-air by Ketz. from several different sources we know that in the fight of gilgamesh and enkidu they canonically fought for at least three days straight as a minimum in fgo we saw that he was able to tank the same barrage from gil that was strong enough to kill the spirit humbaba from fate extra ccc we know that he forced gil to go all out and empty his entire entire treasury while they were fighting from fate strange fate we know that he can just casually move at ridiculous speeds most people can't even keep up with him roman himself mentions back in babylonia that when he was approaching he was coming in at 500 kilometers per hour he further explains that this is even more impressive because the mana density is age of god's level which would make this feat several times harder he deflected a countless amount of swords when he was fighting against gilgamesh I mean an entire wall just by reinforcing one of his hands alone. He has high awareness and great response time, being able to dodge a thrown weapon from Ketz at the last second. He straight up slashed multiple blasts from Ishtar out the air without even trying. Even when she does this as a barrage of blasts, Enkidu still manages to pull off the same thing. He was weaving Richard the Lionheart's punches while only losing strands of his hair. Pick the speed up, my guy. As Kingu, we know that he can change his spirit origin, going from Lancer to Avenger class at will. There's his shape-shifting capabilities that allows him to change into spear, shield, axe, and a beast whenever he wants to. On top of already being a fast servant, there are times where he's shown increasing his speed even further when he needs to up the ante. In Fate Strange Fake, it tells us that he can make his hands as sharp as blades and skillfully block Richard the Lionheart's attack. Magecraft that has an effect on males or females don't have anything to do with him since he's technically neither. His presence detection is unlike any other, being able to sense Gil right after his summoning as soon as he walked out the cave. He used this same skill to pick up the horsemen of Pestilence and Heracles. And FGO is to the point where he was hearing conversations from Roman at a great distance. His skills work faster than the technology that they have at Caldea. Their equipment being some of the best around when no name assassin was out here spying on this battle his detection let him call this out immediately his detection was so great that it sent flat hansa and the horsemen of pestilence in a different dimension being an entity that was born of the wild he has the luxury of being able to communicate with animals understanding the speech of a chimera his potential is said to be next level his yell alone was enough to shake the earth through the power of his manipulations, he can bring an entire forest under his control. We see him use this to protect the Chimera as well. His magical energy is comparable to the ones you'd find in the ley lines. Most enemies couldn't even detect it. In FGO, we know that he was able to absorb Kingu and rearrange his origin, taking some of his prowess like heightening his evasions. From his lore, we know that he defeated the great Humbaba alongside Gil, one of the strongest creatures on the planet. This is further confirmed.
confirmed by their power in strange fate as a being of the planet he has power to propel his energy through the earth's surface he can use brute force in order to create barriers he did this while he was fighting against medusa and babylonia again as a being of the planet he can manipulate wood at his pleasing doing this in order to block out one of medusa's attacks he has the ability to manipulate rock having one of these come out and intercept medusa's charge he summoned a rock barrier that was strong enough to hold off several laser beams from caster gilgamesh he created a lightning attack that obliterated several lamu at once while he was in the air in fate strange fate we saw him casually shift the forest as if it was a creature these same manipulations that he made to the forest caused no name assassin to get lost for half a day from his fight with gil we know that he can summon several different types of weapons swords hammers axes spears you name it again his power is said to be on par with gilgamesh richard himself admitted that he's stronger just by looking at him in fate strange fake he had the tech to disable all the defensive magecraft in the casino and you couldn't even tell in babylonia we see him outsmart merlin finding a way to reverse merlin's plan and bring forth the real tiamat he managed to trick the same guy that always has something up his sleeve due to his makeup he has a dominant temple meaning that anybody that tries to take over his body will eventually be consumed by him in fate strange fake he is one of the only people that can see richard's familiars he can reroute the direction of his chains giving him better opportunities for a more efficient attack he uses chains to capture medusa mash and rasuka at the same time with ease as a guardian of the planet he can summon these chains wherever he wants he used this to trap gil by the foot in their battle he took down a hundred demonic beasts without even trying if anything he made it sound more like a chore just the residual damage from him canceling his phantasm was enough to leave a huge crater in the ground we've seen him use his chains to torture the captured medusa despite the fact of the chains appearing lightweight they have great strength behind them being able to bonk mash in the face with her own shield he literally used the earth to grab kits out of the air and slam her into the ground he tactfully weaved his chains together to create a barrier that blocked out an attack from cats he manipulated his chain portals to pierce through multiple lamu at once he can take this to an even higher scale turning the chains into a net and dicing up the lamu in it all together i mean literal hundreds he's one of the only spirits that know how to fly piercing multiple lamu in mid-air at once he can perform this even if he doesn't see his targets you think that's wild from the story alone we know that he took down several thousands of lamu back in babylonia in his fight against gil it's said that he created a countless amount of divine weapons to help him counter against his gate of babylon he can tactfully use his chains to propel objects throwing two stone pillars at goetia he used his best phantasm anuma elish to hold back the great beast tiamat for a short amount of time again this is the same beast that could ravage the world easy he used the same phantasm and strange fake against gil to counter his Aya. this one clash being strong enough to rip through the world itself we've seen that his powers at its greatest heights can envelop part of the planet entirely the story flat out tells us that normally a servant wouldn't be able to survive gil's level of power just the residual damage from enkidu bringing out his phantasm was sending lightning strikes all around him you also have the fact that gil mentioned that they could fight for three days straight the same way that is mentioned in ccc in his interlude you had him piss mordred off to the point where she was going all out and it still wasn't enough to take him down mordred being a knight of the realm and also a high tier servant i need everybody to move and make way for one of the real ogs he's one of the oldest spirits alongside gilgamesh both of them coming from mesopotamia there's a lot of unique things that come inside of his kid if you've seen his profile and while he might not make it look as flashy he definitely can deal with almost any spirit out there look an A for the clay is the only way this can go down. I couldn't imagine giving him anything lower. 